Welcome to the System Z Modernization Demo. My name is Jeff Leach. The future runs on System Z. So why are we talking about System Z modernization? Because enterprise transactions are on System Z. Eight out of ten of the largest retail banks in the U.S., Germany, Japan, and Australia use CICS for their core banking. Seventy percent of corporate data is stored on System Z. CICS handles more than 30 billion transactions a day, valued at over one trillion a week. System Z can handle 9,000 transactions per second, operating on more than 380 million accounts. System Z applications are worth approximately five trillion, with an estimated replacement cost of 20 trillion. This is a banking example. You want access to your money at any time and any place. To the left you see a bank running ZOS. The piggy bank represents your money. You can go to a teller during banking hours, but you can wait in line. And then you want 24-hour banking. You can go to an ATM machine and you can wait in line. Or you may have security concerns late at night. You can also bank by phone. However, you can also wait. You can also bank by computer either with your PC, but then you're tied to a physical location, or a laptop, and that's bulky. And then you can use your iPhone. From any place and from any time, you can get access to your money. But you could use any device, a BlackBerry, any device that supports a web browser. Banking is not the only example. Self-service applications across all industries are the norm today. But imagine a smarter planet where digital wallets replace credit cards, where a personal health record vault is in the palm of your hand, and solutions such as this take advantage of new technologies and assets that reside within the mainframe infrastructure. This is a diagram of the demonstration you're about to see. To the left we have a ZOS system in Dallas, Texas running CICS v3 and Webster application server. We took an existing CICS COBOL program that reads a vSAM file, and this has a 3270 green screen interface, as seen on the lower left. There were no changes to the existing CICS COBOL program or 3270 green screen interface. We used Rational Developer for System Z or RDZ to generate a CICS COBOL wrapper and create the WSDL for web services. The wrapper program uses the COBOL XML parser, and that is selected by RDZ. We only use Webster Application Server for the AJAX proxy, HTML, and GIF files. To the right you see the internet, and this demo will work with any device that supports a web browser. With nothing installed on any of the devices, there is zero footprint and zero maintenance. Using the same diagram, we've zoomed in on the 3270 interface so that you can see what it looks like. Next, we'll compare the interface and the 3270 with the one on the iPhone. Here you see a side-by-side -side comparison with the 3270 and the iPhone. Remember, we did not make any changes to the 3270 program. We'll now demonstrate CICS using Web Services, Web 2.0 Google Maps, and the vSAM file system on ZOS. The screen you see here can be changed to be something more appropriate for your business. We did this for display purposes, as well as the screen you're about to see. Now let's invoke a CICS service for Customer 4 by pressing that button. Let's plot that on Google Maps by pressing that button. And we see the map change to Brazil. Now let's look at the track service feature that we introduced for display purposes. And you can get this information yourself. We see the duration is 0.7 seconds. Now let's close that. And let's clear the track service feature. And we're done with the demonstration. We'll now demonstrate a CICS COBOL program producing a pie chart for a mortgage application on ZOS. The screen that you see here can be changed to be something more appropriate for your business, as well as the one you are about to see. Now let's change the term from 15 to 30 years by selecting 30 and done and calculate. And we're done with the demonstration. This is a diagram of the demonstration you are about to see for IMS. Here you see Webster Application Server, and we used RDZ to create an ear file, which is a standard Java archive file that will communicate with IMSTMRA connector, with IMS Connect, 
to the OTMA bridge and IMS to an existing COBOL IMS program. This existing COBOL IMS program was not changed in any way and remains intact with a 3270 interface. That program then communicates with the database manager IMS. To right you see the iPhone and other web-enabled devices. Again, nothing was installed on any of these devices. In this demonstration, we will show IMS using Google Maps and Web 2.0. We used RDZ to create a wrapper program to use the OTMA bridge to get to an existing IMS program. It then talks to the IMS database. Now let's invoke IMS for last name Barossa. We see the zip code is 02171 in Massachusetts, and that's what gets returned. And we're done with the demonstration. The demonstrations you have just seen will work with any web browser on any device that supports a web browser and with cloud computing. With nothing installed on a device and System Z optimizing the display for the device, the iPhone modernization demo puts a world of information in the palm of your hand. With everyone talking about cloud computing and the iPhone modernization demo running in today's environment, the future runs on System Z. You've just seen the future running today on System Z. From all of us at IBM, thank you. If you have any questions, please contact your IBM representative.